wrote a really interesting article in the Advertiser last week about Matthew Nix, and you thought that the setup around him wasn't strong enough. Oh, yeah, thanks, Jane. That'd be great if you had a chat to me, but I've got some fantastic, experienced people around me at the moment. So there's absolutely no doubt Matthew Nix has been hung out to try by the Adelaide Football Club. He's head of football, Adam Kelly. He's in six months into the role. Andrew Fagan's a, a rugby background and doesn't have a lot of AFL experience. Rob Chapman, the chairman, is stepping down, and Mark Rusciuto seems conflicted and, and out of his depth at the moment. So Matthew Nix needs help from somewhere. Rookie Crows coach Matthew Nix has indicated he'd like more support to help steer Adelaide through its rebuild. You want to get the best people around and we want to explore the options because there's going to be a number of people out there unfortunately with the way the industry's gone. There's a lot of people, good, really good operators out there that will be out of work. Fascinating. You've been big on this cane the whole way along that he needs support and Matthew Nix seemed to concede as much after being a little stubborn about it earlier in the year. Yeah, he was, uh, Chia, but, but that's OK. I think his admission is right, and, and Rob Chapman has said the same in recent weeks. So they need to find the best people that they can. Now, Caro, I know you put it to John Warsfold when he joined us on the show last week. Is he the man? Is it full-time? Is it a consultancy role that he's played at Adelaide before? I don't know, but he needs someone. I'm not sure who that person is, Caro, but... John Worsfold would be someone that I'd be speaking to. Well, this is how he responded when we asked him the question last week, Kane. I have no concrete plans for anything full-time next year at the moment, but I'm, I'm, I will be working next year, so that is a given. I, I'm looking forward to you know, finding a new job and a, and a new role to play somewhere. It just seems an absolute gimme, doesn't it? I mean, it's just absolutely brilliant opportunity for John Walsfold. It really wasn't up to Matthew Nix to say if he did or didn't want a senior assistant. It should have been forced upon him, really, shouldn't yeah, it? My opinion, though, is I, I, I don't think Nix should have a fly-in, fly-out. I think Nix needs someone there 24-7 with him. Oh, uh, I think that's exactly what yeah, should happen. Yeah, I don't so think John Walsfold should be fly-in, fly-out. But John's out. not going to move to Adelaide. Hasn't he spoken he about... Might. Oh, I reckon yeah. he would. OK, I thought he yep. spoke about, with Xavier Campbell, that I'm going to be in Perth next year with my family. He did say that, but things change. Okay. The interesting thing about the Crows is it, it's been a systematic failure since 2017, and probably earlier, Kane, if you look at their recruiting. It, it just hasn't worked. They're 23 and under. It's hard to sort of see where you build a team from and through, this, through this crew. Yeah, let's have a look at it, Hutchie. Their list manager, Justin Reid, said they're halfway through a four-year rebuild. I, I don't quite see it that way as you're looking at some of the younger players. And who in that list is a 200-game player? Chase Jones, perhaps. Darcy Fogarty, maybe. But does he have the attributes um, to be the modern-day key forward that you need? That's, um, that's, I'm, that's con- bad. I'm concerned that's, about their young players. That, I mean, there's some talent there, Miller among them. But that's not the next premiership core there. That, that, that's a, that hasn't worked. There's not no, enough well, talent it, there. And when you're looking at the, the, the redrafts, if you go back, it's a, a pretty laborious exercise. But if you do it, some players that they opted not to select uh, over some others is concerning. So Hamish Ogilvy, their recruiter, and, and Justin Reid, their list manager, um, will wait and see and we'll judge them in a few years. But at the moment, they don't appear to be on the right track and it's going to take some time.